Good afternoon, everyone. And we thank all for gathering today for the homegoing mass for a loving husband, father, mentor, friend, Mr. Noel Ian Slack. We will now start with our tributes. Our first tribute will be rendered by Mr. Slack's niece, Shauna Slack. She will be singing one of Mr. Slack's favorite songs, Wind Beneath My Wing. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon, church. My family and I wish to extend deepest condolences to Aunt Yvette and the family, and, uh, and also from a host of associates in Anguilla. Uncle was generous with his time and wise counsel, and I will certainly miss him. Beneath 
wind beneath my wing. Oh, the wind beneath my wings. You, you, you. You are the wind beneath my wings. Fly. Thank you, Shauna, for that beautiful rendition. We will now listen to Amira and Rihanna, Mr. Slack's granddaughters, two of them, as they pay their tribute in the form of a poem. Our grandpa. My name is Amira. And I am Rihanna. And, and I am Rihanna. And we are here to tell you all about our grandpa. Let's start off by stating the facts. Our grandpa loved to wear shirt jacks. Peanuts and green grapes were by far his favorite snacks. And you could always find him with his hair slicked back. He loved his wife. They had over 60 years of marriage. And then there was the other love of his life, the card game bridge. Once he retired, Grandpa became everyone's personal shopper. And for us, his grandchildren, well, he was our personal chauffeur. We could call Grandpa night or day. He would be there. And you remember when Grandpa used to let us comb his hair? Yes, we could ask our Grandpa for anything. I asked him to buy me Piedrella. He always bought me a pink thing. Our Grandpa really enjoyed having a good conversation and watching The Voice and America's Got Talent on television. He loved to laugh and have some fun. He would laugh so hard, he would bite his tongue. Our grandpa was unique throughout his entire life. He was the only person we knew who ate pizza with a fork and a knife. He didn't know the difference between Facebook, email, or text. But my grandpa, our, our grandpa, grandpa, was by far the best. He never missed a recital, sporting event, graduation, or birthday party. There was nothing he wouldn't do for us, his family. So many wonderful moments we will remember. We, we love you, we miss you. Rest, rest in peace, peace Grandpa. Grandpa. Thank you, Amira and Rihanna, for that very lovely tribute. We just heard about Mr. Slack's love for the game of bridge, and so I will now invite the representative from the St. Kitts Bridge Association, Mr. Sam Franks, to deliver tribute on the association's behalf. Good afternoon, church. This is a tribute to our Ian Slack. Um, I don't see anything behind his name. Grace, mercy, and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God. The members of the St. Kitts Bridge Association and contract bridge associations and players across the Caribbean including the territories of Martinique and Guadeloupe, wish to express great sadness and indeed surprise 
at the sudden passing of our brother, Ian. Ian will be remembered as an icon and a catalyst for his contribution to the playing and development of the game in the region and the introduction of the French Associated States of Guadeloupe and Martinique to the annual OECS Bridge Tournament. <clears throat> he was one of the pioneers who organized, who organized bridge playing in St. Kitts and was a foundation member of the St. Kitts Bridge Club, formerly known as the Olympic Club, headquarters at, headquartered at um, Fortlands. His peers included illustrious players and personalities, the likes of Dr. Lough, Lofton Bridgerson, Joseph Bass, Letsome Dublin, Charlie Gums, David Charles, Lionel Archibald, Archibald, Werner John, St. Clair Byron, Fitzroy Bryant, Oral Hector, and all of whom have criticized him, and Dr. Macmillan Mac, Mac Hodge, Eustace Leibard, Bishara Kassab, Walford Gums, Horatia Versailles, Reverend Amos Brown, and Sam Franks. These were some of the players who not only facilitated the establishment of the first OECS bridge tournament in St. Kitts in 1987, but who helped St. Kitts to dominate the annual competition over the many years since then. Ian was always a member of the St. Kitts bridge team, even when we participated in extra regional and international tournaments. His trophy shelves proudly bear witness to his bridge prowess and achievements. On the occasions when St. Kitts became host, Ian brought together all of his organizational skills, as well as the resources of his corporate associates and his personal friends, even his family, to ensure the tremendous success and memorable events they became every time. Playing with Bridge gave Playing with Ian gave an insight of the character of the man. At the table, he was respected by doctors, judges, lawyers, merchants, and chiefs throughout the region. He, firstly, he will firstly inquire about your well-being and that of your family, each of whom he would know by name. Then he would reassure you of that of his. He had a genuine concern for others. He loved people. He is the donor of the present OECS Bridge Tournament Championship trophy. He was a fierce competitor. He was fiercely competitive, sometimes even combative, with a very analytical mind. His memory and recall will perhaps be the strongest of the weapons in his bridge playing arsenal. There are 52 cards in a pack of cards. After they are shared, each of the four players will be dealt one card in turn. And everyone in turn would have played 13 cards in that deal. This is called a hand. At one sitting, there'll be 20, 24, 30 hands at one sitting. Ian will remember some hands played 20, 30 years ago or the previous week. He would remember who received what card and the order in which each card was played. That's a special gift. Very few players in the world can do that. This is not all that Brian brought to the bridge table. Besides his skill, his honesty, integrity, sportsmanship, reliability, dependability, and strong sense of decency and order were the hallmarks of his game. He, always, he was always designated as scorer, and most times the game director, not only for his trustworthiness, but his gift of organizing and that of his mental arithmetic. Maybe it is because of his early accounting background 
or his aversion to technology. We don't know. But Ian preferred to deal with numbers used, uh, without using a calculator or anything like that. Always the traditional way, pencil and paper. Perhaps that is why he always wore a shirt jack, so that his pens and pencils and notepads can be easily and readily accommodated, as demonstrated as you came in the door. He used the phone only for making and receiving calls. It was no secret that WhatsApp and email messages had to be sent to his wife, Yvette. The many beach players throughout the Caribbean from whom we have received expressions of condolences and all the local beach players with whom Ian played regularly and weekly, including Bishara Kassab, Brian and Patty Monkhouse, Colin Malalu, Horatio Versailles, Eustace Leibold, Paul Walson, Laura Getz, Walford Gums, Pam Wall, Joy Walwin, Anne Fish, and I, as well as uh, Reverend uh, Amos Brown, who is with us, all wish to thank Yvette and the entire Slacks family for lending Ian to us every week, and sometimes twice and three times weekly. And we thank God for his sojourn here with us. Bridge and bridge players have been truly blessed. Thanks again, Yvette, for your contribution and your sacrifice. Thank you, Mr. Franks, for your kind words rendered on behalf of the St. Kitts Bridge Association. I now invite the representative from National Bank to pay tribute in the form of an instrumental. We have to switch the program slightly. I now invite the representative from the Life in the Spirit Seminar Group to come forward to pay tribute. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. On behalf of the Life in the Spirit seminar participants standing right before us, we are happy now to pay tribute to our beloved brother in Christ, Mr. Ian Slack. Our parish family of the Immaculate Conception Co-Cathedral has been truly blessed to have had a gift like Mr. like our brother in Christ, Ian Slack. And what a gift he was to us. Mr. Slack was a born leader, and this was evident in his lifestyle, in his competence and confidence. His dedicated and loyal service to his church was commendable. It was done with pride and dignity. As an acolyte, 
serving on the altar. He was a great inspiration to, to us. He and Brother Ken, two pillars, Brother Ken Martin, two pillars in our church. It was really an inspiration to see them serve with such reverence, discipline, and really in a, of an exemplary manner. Our brother Ian recruited and trained the altar servers. He was a real father figure to them and to ensure that these youngsters were on time for their service he would bring them to and from church. As a result of his dedicated and committed service, he received the Papal Award, as did our brother Ken Martin. Brother Ian was a humanitarian. He was humble and approachable. His kindness and generosity knew no bounds. He was there for one and all. And his motto undoubtedly was, no human being should be left behind. His kindness and generosity was infectious. And many of us were endeared to him. One past student of his wife, Mrs. Yvette Slack's preschool, said of Mr. Slack, Mr. Slack was a positive man. He was a giving man. He was a lovely man. And nobody can say anything bad about him. Mr. Slack was a good Samaritan and a life saver. He saved the life of one of my sisters. She was having a swim at the Frigate Bay Beach on a holiday many years ago, long before there was even a thought of the strip. She, was, she went into the sea and into the water, and she was feeling unwell. And she came out of the water, her skin was red. I was standing on the sandy area, and she came towards me and collapsed at my feet. As the Lord would have it, Mr. Slack was on the beach. When he heard of the incident, he quickly ran over, picked her up, and put her in his car. I was in the car with her in the back, and Mr. Slack drove, drove off with such speed Thank God in those days there were not many vehicles, and it was a holiday, so the road was practically clear. And I was so frightened and praying there all the time, Lord, please help her. Please, Lord, don't let her die. And so as he speeded along, straight, he went straight to Dr. Jung of blessed memory. He gave the injection, and that was the miracle it happened. And soon after, she was back to normal. Our family is forever grateful to Mr. Slack. Mr. Slack was a God-fearing and a godly man. Whenever I called his house, his, his greeting was, Jesus loves you. And I say, thank you, Mr. Slack, and he loves you too. Mr. Slack and his wife, Yvette, were participants at the Life in the Spirit seminar, which took place right here in this cathedral, co-cathedral, last year. He and his wife never missed a session, and his granddaughter, Rihanna, came on the first occasion. That was very good of her. He found the um, seminar very inspiring, and spiritually enriching and transforming. Mr. Slack, I, we thank God for the life and work of Mr. Slack. He did all the good he could 
to all the people he could for as long as he could. And now he's resting peacefully in the arms of his Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's back with his God who made him, loves him, and saves him. And may his generous and precious soul rest eternally in the peace of Christ. To his dear wife Yvette, his children, relatives, and friends, please accept our heartfelt condolences, our love and prayers, and our dear Lord will carry you in his loving embrace, strengthen and comfort you as you grieve your loss. God richly bless and keep you. And we'll now sing our theme song for the seminar. Let your living water flow. Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you I roll. Jesus, Jesus.
Thank you, members of the Life in the Spirit seminar group, for your touching and comforting rendition. I now invite the representative from the CFBC, Mr. Inango, to pay tribute in the form of an instrumental. Thank you, Mr. Inanga, for that lovely and melodious tribute. At this time, I recognize the presence of our national hero, the Right Honorable Sir Kennedy Simmons, the Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Mr. Timothy Antwine, 
and the Deputy Governor General of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, our very own Dr. Valda Henry. At this time, I will now invite Jared, one of Mr. Slack's grandsons, to render his tribute. Good afternoon, everybody. A lot of my family members wouldn't know this, but when I went to the ICU, I spoke to my grandfather, and he told me one of his favorite songs that I sing is Let Me Down by Sam Smith. So that's why I chose this song. He was an old school man, but you know, I didn't like old school songs, so. Yes, I do, I believe. One day I will be where I was, right there, right next to you. And it's hard, the day just seems so dark. The moon and the stars are nothing, nothing without, without you. Your touch, your skin, where do I begin? No words. Can't explain the way I'm missing you. Deny this emptiness, this hole that I'm inside. These tears, they, they tell, tell their, their own story. story. It told you me not to cry when you were gone. But the feeling's overwhelming, it's much too strong. Can I lay by your side next to you? Take care of you And I don't want to be here If I can't be with you Tonight I'm reaching out to you Oh, can you hear my call? This hurt that I've been through I'm missing you, I'm missing you like crazy You told me not to cry when you were gone But the feeling's overwhelming, it's much too strong Next to you, to you, and make sure you're all right. I'll take care of you, and I don't want to be here if I can't be with you tonight. Lay me down tonight And lay me by your side I'll Lay me down tonight And lay me by your side Can I
Thank you, Jared. Plan in Splendor, Pan in Splendor, sorry, will now come forward to deliver a pan solo, paying tribute in one of Mr. Slack's favorite songs, I Will Always Love You. Thank you very much. I now invite the representatives from the Fireflies Dance School to come forward to pay tribute, dancing to the song, Because You Loved Me, another one of Mr. Slack's favorites. Through, through it all. 
Thank you, Fireflies Dance School, for that lovely tribute. I now invite National Bank or the representatives for National Bank to pay tribute, and I do believe it is in the form of an instrumental. Good afternoon, church. The National Bank Group of Companies, we stand in support of our colleagues, Pauline and Soraya. We know that this journey could never be easy, and we pray God's strength and comfort to you and your family. On behalf of the directors, management, and staff, of the St. Kitts, Nevis, and Gwilla National Bank Group of Companies Limited, we express our sincerest condolences to you and your family. We hope that these words and the musical rendition that follows would provide some comfort. You can shed tears that he is gone, or you can smile because he has lived. You can close your eyes and pray that he will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that he has left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see him, or you can be full of the love that you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember him and only that he is gone, or you can cherish his memories and let it live on. You can cry or close your mind, be empty and turn your back, or you can do what he would want, smile, open your eyes, love, and go on. May his soul rest in eternal peace.
That tribute was very touching. Thank you to National Bank. At this time, we recognize the presence of our Governor General, Dame Marcella Leibert. Good afternoon. That brings us to the end of the tributes. I now invite Ms. Pauline Slack, daughter of Mr. Ian Slack, to deliver the eulogy. Good afternoon, church. My dad. When I say my dad, I'm referring to a father of seven, a grandfather of 11, a great-grandfather of three, with the fourth one on his way. Your bridge partner, your former dedicated worker at the St. Kitts Bottling Company, your loving uncle or friend, and your fellow devoted Catholic. My dad, Noel Ian Slack, affectionately known as Daddy, Uncle Ian, Grandpa, Mr. Slack, the boss, or simply Ian, was born on the 28th of March, 1939, at North Sound Sugar Estate in Antigua as the second child of four children to Noel and Alma Slack. Daddy has two surviving siblings, one older brother, Gordon, and one younger sister, Yvette. Coincidentally, my mom's name is Yvette. His younger sister, Yvonne, passed away at the age of 19 when she collided with another player on the tennis court. My eldest sister was named in her honor. As my dad was named after his father, he was called by his middle name to avoid any misunderstanding. However, this led Ian to think this was his first name well into his teenage years. His older brother, Alexander Gordon Slack, who is only one year older, was called by his middle name also. Uncle Gordon was not allowed to attend primary school until Daddy was old enough, therefore putting them in the same grade, although they were one year apart. They were educated at the Antigua Girl School from 1955 to 1947. And no, I did not make a mistake. Yes, I said Antigua Girls School, but I have no idea why it was called that, as quite obviously boys were allowed to attend. There, my dad and Uncle Gordon found out their true first names and proudly marched into class the next day, refusing to answer to roll call to under the names of Ian and Gordon. Teacher started roll call, Jane, present teacher, Ian, no answer. Gordon, no answer. My determined dad and uncle were physically punished that day for their rebellious behavior, but felt they had done nothing wrong as they were not addressed by their true names of Noel and Alexander. On the 12th of April, 1957, my dad was forced to leave school prematurely to join the workforce in order to assist his family financially, as his dad was very ill, a sacrifice that even today he is satisfied with and has helped to shape him in the man he was, an ethical man that will go the extra mile for his family. His first job was with Fitzpatrick Graham, later known as Panel Kofoster, as an audit clerk between Antigua, St. Kitts, and Montserrat. Daddy then decided to move to St. Kitts and continue to work at Fitzpatrick Graham from the 1st to the 31st of October, 1958. He then joined the staff of the St. Kitts Bottling Company on the 1st of November, 1958, as the assistant manager slash accountant 
under the management of Lawrence Williams. My dad burnt many midnight oils, getting the stock and accounts up to date. In June 1967, when Mr. Mr. Williams returned to his native Barbados, Daddy was appointed acting general manager and later also as a company director on the 10th of November, 1973. He retired after 50 years of dedicated service in 2008 at the age of 69. This shows the true, honest, committed, and hardworking nature of my dad. All traits he has passed on to his seven children, 11 grandchildren, and many others who, have been, who he has been a father figure to, especially members of this church. Most people here today associate my dad with, at minimum, two things. St. Kitts Bottling Company, sorry, St. Kitts Bottling Company and the Bridge Association. But did you know he played cricket, football, and ran track while at Antigua Grammar School? Who knew? As an adult, his passion for lawn tennis, his passion was lawn tennis, winning the St. Kitts Mixed Doubles in 1967 and the Male Olympic Club Singles in 1968. Yet he switched to his present passion in 1971. Yes, you guessed it, duplicate bridge. And to date, he has won at least nine OSCS bridge championships. He played bridge up to Monday, 17th July, 2023. And in his words, he said he played the best bridge game of his life that day. Daddy was also a past member of the St. Kitts JCs, a past founding member of the Rotary Club of St. Kitts, and was heavily involved in organizing sponsorship of carnival events and sponsorship of Coca-Cola Shamrock netball team. Ian was also received a few accolades over his 84 blessed years. This include Father of the Year at the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church twice, the Independence Medal of Honor for his contribution to the Chamber of Industry and Commerce, and an apostolic blessing from Pope Francis, just to name a few. So how did this handsome Antiguan man end up with seven Kittitian children, you ask? After moving to St. Kitts in 1958, he made friends with a big Catholic family, the Judenbergs although at the time he himself was a Methodist. There he spent much of his spare time at the family home on Cairn Street, where the cable building is located today. It was there he met my mom. While courting Yvette, they would often, he would often escort her on long drives to the Holy Family Catholic Church in Molyneux. There they attended Mass together. In 1962, my dad decided to become a Catholic and married my mom on the 9th of December, 1962. Last December, they celebrated another dedicated milestone by renewing their vows for their 60th wedding anniversary. In 1981, Father Jack Nyson invited my dad and Ken Martin to serve on the altar as an acolyte and he also served as a Eucharistic minister, lector, and coordinator of the altar servers. It is said that my dad's station wagon was considered the unofficial church bus transporting worshipers to and from church every Sunday, something he did up until early January 2022. Ian was also very instrumental in organizing the soft drink bars at most of the church's annual bazaar and the school, the convent school's annual mefia for many years. As children, often daddy left for work early in the morning and at times returned home long after we had gone to bed. 
Yet, he would ensure he picked us up from school at lunchtime 95% of the time. On the occasions he was unavailable to do this, he would arrange to have someone pick us up. Sundays at my home meant church, Sunday school, and very frequent trips to the beach. All seven of us can swim and still love the beach because of this. Between work and bridge, Daddy traveled regularly, but as kids, we were happy, as this meant we would be blessed on his return with chocolates, Archie Comics, The Star, The Inquirer magazine, etc. Most of us, even as adults, still love Archie Comics. My dad is a simple man, a simple man to please, especially when it comes to food. Some of his favorite dishes include sausage and mashed potato, banana sandwiches and avocado pear sandwiches, and let's not forget his peanuts. He loves chicken, but insists on chicken breast only as he despises bones, and don't even expect to see him eating with his fingers. Knife and fork, please. When Ian was not busy with work, family, or his many activities, he could be found listening and relaxing to one of his cassettes of in, in his briefcase to soft and easy collection of songs from ABBA, Elvis Presley, Kenny Rogers, The Beatles, just to name a few. I am sure it was very difficult to provide shelter, food, clothing, education, and discipline to seven children. But we cannot remember a time we were hungry, and we were all educated at a private school, the then St. Teresa's Convent School. Yes, there were many hand-me-downs, including clothes and books, but we now have a greater appreciation for the value of satisfying a need and not just fulfilling a material want. My dad was strict and didn't like rudeness, but when it came to that physical discipline, he left most of it up to mommy. Later in life, he often told us he felt as a child he had received enough of that physical discipline for all of us combined and couldn't bring himself to deliver it to us. Yet, he never stopped mommy from distributing a heavy shear of that physical discipline. At the prestigious age of 82, my dad was still driving, taking mom to do all the shopping and was the personal chauffeur from school for his two youngest granddaughters. He was very good with figures, mentally calculating competitive grocery packages, counting how many persons came to church on Sunday, I remember at his 80th celebration, I put him on the spot. And in my speech, I asked him, what, when was mommy's birthday and when was my birthday? And those of us who were there can attest that he got them correct. Even in his last days in the ICU, I told him how old I was, when, how old he was when I was born and then quickly asked him, how old are you? He looked at me and quickly responded, 84, and paused for a moment, looked at me, and replied, that means you are, without giving my age, <laughs> without giving my age, I will assure you, he got it correct. True accountant. We know it is indeed a blessing to have had a daddy like mine, even more to have him with us a decade plus four past his promised time of three scores and ten. Thank you, Daddy, for being a treasure and the treasurer in our lives. We love you, Uncle Ian, Grandpa, Grandpa Slack, Mommy's beloved husband, Noel, Ian, the boss, my daddy.
Great job, Pauline. On behalf of the Immaculate Conception Co-Cathedral Parish, I extend warm condolences to the entire Slack family and his friends. We also recognize the presence of the Honorable Pauletta Lands, retired High Court Judge. The altar for the homegoing mass will now be prepared. Father Lawrence will be the presider and we will be led in music ministry by our joint youth and senior choir. We can follow today's proceedings in the booklets provided. Please stand. We'll now turn to page two of the booklet for the introductory rites. Reception of the body, blessing with holy water and the dressing of the coffin. Father Lawrence is being assisted by Father Dominic. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. Blessed, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the body of Ian with holy water that recalls his baptism, of which St. Paul writes, All who were baptized in Christ were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. O 
on the day of his baptism, he and put on Christ, on the day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed with glory. We will join in singing our entrance hymn, which can be found on page three of the booklet, Gather Christians. Behold the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he dies, shall live. Whoever is alive by believing me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, we believe that Jesus is the anointed one, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Why, it is day, we must do the work that the one who has sent me. For the night will come when no one can work. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. The one who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have light. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we are also to live with him. He who raised up the Lord will also raise up Ian and us along with Jesus. Both in life and in death, we belong to the Lord. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him. We know also that our death is the beginning of our participation in the victory of Christ. We believe that God is faithful to his covenant, and he will give his fullness of life on the last day. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your son who died on the cross was raised from the dead. The first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through the mis this mystery, your servant Ian, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. 
Good afternoon to you all. We gather this afternoon to celebrate a life, to say goodbye to Ian, and at the same time to pray for ourselves, because Ian's life has come to an end, but we are still living. So he did, he ran the race, and he has finished the race, so it's up to us now. So before we celebrate this Mass, we realize that we are all sinful people, so let us humble ourselves and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, who pray for me, the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Oh. 
Let us pray. Almighty Father, you raised your Son, Jesus Christ, from the dead so that we who believe in him to be the light of the world may with him be brought to the fullness of life in his resurrection. Grant, we ask you, that Ian, who has left this world, might merit your forgiveness for the sins he has committed and may inherit eternal life. And this we ask you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We will now engage in the liturgy of the Word and the first reading, which is taken from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verses 1 to 7, will be read by Mr. Slack's granddaughter, Janiel Alford. A reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. The souls of the just are in the hands of God, and no torment shall touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they appear to be dead. Their going is held as a, as a disaster. It seems that they lose everything by departing from us, but they are in peace. Though seemingly they have been punished, immortality was the soul of their hope. After slight affliction will come great blessings, for God has tried them and found them worthy to be with him. After testing them as gold in the furnace, he has accepted them as a holocaust. At the time of his coming, they will shine like sparks that run in the stubble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now join our choir in singing the responsorial psalm, which can be found on page 5 of the booklet, Psalm 23.
The second reading is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 17, and it will be read by Mr. Slack's daughter, Ruth Slack. The second reading is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 17. Clothe yourselves, then as is fitting for God's chosen people, holy and beloved of him. Put on compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience to bear with one another and forgive whenever there is any occasion to do so. As the Lord has forgiven you, forgive one another. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. May the peace of Christ overflow in your hearts for this end, you were called to be one body and be thankful. Let the word of God dwell in you in all its richness. Teach and admonish one another with words of wisdom. With thankful hearts, sing to God psalms, hymns, and spontaneous praise. And whatever you do or say, do it in the name of Jesus, the Lord, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. We recognize the presence of the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris. Let us all stand for the gospel acclamation. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms. Otherwise, I would not have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you. After I've gone and prepared a place for you, I shall come back and take you to me so that where I am, you also may be. You know, yet you know the way where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I wish we had... Uh, air condition in this church. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I said I wish we had air condition in this church. <laughs> we are all bedding up. It's so hot. Yeah. 
Yeah. So maybe we can have a donor. Huh? Maybe we can have a donor. Who knows? Um, my brothers and sisters, we, we gather today to celebrate life. Um, I've always said it's very, very hard to find the right words to say to somebody who's grieving. It's, it's not easy. But what makes it easier for us who believe in the Lord is that uh, death is not an end. Death is a step into a new life. None of us can avoid this. All of us have to go through this. Even in the gospel of this afternoon, the Lord is, go- is saying, I am going to prepare a place for you. So what does it mean by saying, I'm going? It means that he's going to die. Meaning that even for Jesus, he had to go. So, Life, our life has to have a finality. It has to have an end here on earth. So physically, we have to die. None of us can run away from that. But then when this happens to each one of us, when we are confronted by it, when it comes into our families, we react differently. What is more painful is when we think of in our human thinking, we think of an end. That is it. We won't see this person. We won't talk to this person. I think that is where it becomes so hard. Sometimes people say, why do we have to cry? We need to cry. Even Jesus cried at that day. When he found Lazarus gone for, uh, after some time, Jesus wept for him. We cry to take out that. But at the same time, when we mourn, when we cry, we still believe that. For us who believe in the Lord, that's not an end. But the parting part of it is what is so painful to all of us. We celebrate the life today of this man. Ian was among you. For some of you, I've known him for a long, long time. You met him, you worked with him. For some of them, for some of you, like my mother here, she stayed with him in marriage for 61 years. 60, huh? 60 and a half. 60 and a half. She knows, women know all these dates and everything. 60 and a half. Women keep all these dates, eh? They are very good. They stay together for that long. That's a life span. And for the children who grew up with him, they knew him so well. But a time has come when they have to be in this situation. But I will say, thank God, they are believers. And one thing that has strengthened them ever since he died or throughout the period he was sick and when he died, what has brought them together, what has held them together is the fact that they believe that yes, he has to go, but he is in the better place now. They know that. Amen. When we, we go through what has been written on this, the tributes, we see that Ian was a, a person who was open to everyone, starting with kids, children, you know, altar savers. He helped, he carried people from home to church. At that time, when he had all the, the energy, he went across the board. He was just as humble as it, what anyone can be. And I think when you look at his life, what do we have to learn from it? It does not, it won't, you won't lose anything 
by simply being humble. You won't lose anything by simply being open to people. You won't lose anything by just loving people as people. You won't lose anything. But unfortunately, of course, my brothers and sisters, sometimes the way we live our lives, we live as if we were born alone. <laughs> we live as if we don't mind about other people. We don't care about other people. I mean, sometimes we live like that. The second reading is saying, please forgive one another. Be clothed with compassion. Be clothed with, with humility. Be clothed with, with love. This is all we need as we live in this world. Not anything else. There is no need to fight. I've always said that. Let us live as people who know that our life is too short. Our life is too short on earth. If only you can be a good person and be just nice to anybody. This is what happens. The church is full. He did not ask any one of you to come to his funeral. He never wrote a letter to anybody and applied, everybody come and see me off. No. But you came because it touched you. Because his life touched you in one, one way or another. The Lord is saying again, I'm going. Yes, life has to come to an end. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And when I prepare a place for you, I'll come and take you so that you can be where I am. So he has to die. And then when he dies, he will go and conquer death. And once he has conquered death, he will come and take us. Because Jesus is the way to eternal life. So there is no eternal life without death. So my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate a life of this great man, let us pray for ourselves. And let us remember also that you only have today. Life is too short. He's lucky he lived up to 84. The other day, another good friend of mine, Mr. Kogan, died. 97. Good long lives. And I was, I was reflecting this after now, saying to myself, we keep on losing older people. Sometimes we don't realize how much we need these older people among us. Huh? If you see these people with gray hair, like myself and others, <laughs> you need these people. You need these people. I'm telling you, don't lose a chance of learning from these people. If you want to be wise, respect the older people and listen to them and learn from them. If you have a father, if you have a mother, it's time that you begin to relate with them. If you have a father and you have a mother, it's time that you begin to help them out if you have to help them out. Don't live as if you just dropped from heaven. Respect the older people. Because without them, some of us, some of you, would not have seen life. So what I'm simply saying is that let us make sure that we know God. We believe that God, Jesus Christ, died and rose again. And we have to follow him. And Jesus is saying, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm life. So you can never go to the Father except through him. So that is why every time we have a funeral, I always say, where are you with your relationship with the Lord? Where are you? Just like I said, don't think about tomorrow. Think about now. This is the only time you have. This is the only time you have to make a decision in life. If you don't make a decision in life today to know the Lord, then my brother or my sister, maybe today I'm, the Lord is speaking through me. Do something about your life. Learn to know the Lord. Because there's nothing in this world that you can hold on to. Everything passes away. But what you always mean if you believe in the Lord, it's a life with him. And all of us are, are, are invited to be part and parcel of this banquet that the Lord has prepared for us. So if you want eternal life, and if you want to live a good life, you need to know God in your life. So I think that is my, 
my, my message for today. Let us pray that the good Lord may help us, that we may live as brothers and sisters. Let us love one another. Let us look at people that have lived good lives. People that loved is an example. He loved people. He loved everyone. He went across the board, embraced everyone. Let us learn to be like that. Let us embrace each other and know that our life is too short. And the best thing we can ever do in life is to make sure that we are at, in good terms with everyone. But I think that's what the second reading is saying. Be compassionate. Be loving. Be forgiving. If God has forgiven you, you too has to learn to forgive. So I think that is the only thing. Otherwise, we live a life that is empty. If we can't do what the Lord is telling us, then our lives become empty. But let us learn today that we are called to be part and parcel of this life of oneness. The Lord wants us to be one. The Lord wants us to be forgiving and embrace one another. And I think we are here, we are gathered here with so many people who have come today because the love that Ian had for you and had for everyone is the one that has drawn us to him. So we pray, we pray for him, uh, that the good Lord may forgive him if he had committed any sin, because no one is perfect. All of us are sinners. So we pray for him that the good Lord may forgive him and give him the, the, the eternal rest that he wanted to have in his life. So I think that is what I can say. And as I look back, I see him a committed person. Every, every Sunday, if he had to come, you see him coming and you sit with the wife, you sit with the family every time. I think we need to have something like that. So all of us, let us learn something. Let us emulate him. Let us look up to some of the examples of people in this, in this church that show us how we are supposed to live as, as Christians. So, I hope you know Jesus. Huh? You do? Yeah, because sometimes they, when you're talking and people are looking at you, you're wondering whether they are listening or they're not listening. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I always say, you know, this is free, free of charge. The word of God comes freely to everybody of us. Everybody listen to this. But the thing is, when are you going to make a decision to do the right thing? When are you going to make the decision to, make, to put the first priority, be the first priority? Life with Christ is the first thing. The rest of these things are things that we'll meet on earth and leave them on earth. Do you want to hold on to something that is passing? Or you want to hold on to something that will lead you to eternal life? What can you gain in this world and feel that you've got it? Unless Jesus Christ. So, I'm appealing to you, my brothers and sisters. Find time for the Lord in your life. Even if it means going to church once in a month, please do. Than zero. We are committed to so many things in this world. We are committed to going everywhere in this world. But when it comes to our relationship with the Lord, I think we fail so much. It is time for us to think about it. You see, I'm not preaching to him, I'm preaching to you. This message is not for Ian, this message is for you and me, and myself. Eh? Let us find time for the Lord in our lives. Yes, we have to live life to the full. Enjoy your life, but not, do not forget the Lord in your life. So let us pray that the good Lord may help us to be more wise to choose the right thing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and offer our petitions for Ian and also to pray for ourselves.
the response is, merciful God, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear our prayer. We pray for our Pope Francis and all the bishops and priests that God will help them in their efforts to guide the people to you. We pray, merciful God, hear our prayer. We pray for the church that she will keep focused on the youth. We pray. Hear our prayer. We pray for. We pray for the sick that God will lay His healing hands on them, especially those in the ICU. We pray. Merciful God. We pray for the Bridge Association that gave our Ian Slack many happy times. May they teach the youth this wonderful game. We pray. Merciful God. We pray for all married couples and families that they might be loving, faithful, and committed to each other. We pray. We pray for all we pray for all those who have died, especially Ian Slack. Our wonderful husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, uncle, and friend. Grant him eternal rest. We pray, merciful God, hear us. Father, these are some of the prayers that we present to you on this day when we pray for Ian. There are many more prayers in our hearts that are not expressed, but we hope and trust that you grant all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. One announcement, the drivers of PB2537 PB2537 and PA350, the authority is kindly asking that you remove your vehicle from its current position. So that is the drivers of PB2537 and PA350. Thank you. Our collection hymn can be found on page 7 of the booklet, Blessed Assurance.
we will now engage in the liturgy of the Eucharist. And during the preparation of our gifts, we will stand and join in singing our offertory hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, our offertory hymn, which can be found on page 8 of your booklet. Please stand. my brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Ian, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge. And this we ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, before the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Please stand. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, the ring of the fullness of charity with our Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Aeon, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, our spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all your saints who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. It is through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of a church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on so the world and my soul shall be healed. May the burden blood of us bring us everlasting life. Amen. As we approach the altar to receive the Eucharist, we will join in singing our communion hymns, the first being the covenant song, which can be found on page 10, and will be followed by Be Not Afraid on page 11.
During our meditation, we will listen to a rendition performed by the Immaculate Conception Co-Cathedral Filipino Community Choir.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body and the food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Ian may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother Ian to be buried in his human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give Ian merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May God, may Christ the Good Shepherd, lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father, and may he be happy forever with the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Amen. Our response will be, Lord, save your people. Page 16, Lord, save your people. By the coming as man. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and fasting. Lord, save your people. By your suffering and cross. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your rising to new life. Lord, save your people. By your return in glory to the Father. Lord, save your people. By your gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. By your coming again in glory. Lord, save your people. Father, into your hands we commend our brother Ian. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. Lord, hear our people. Welcome, Welcome our, our brothers. Brother and help us comfort each other. 
the same assurance of our faith until we meet in Christ and with our brother forever. God says, Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you to, into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Our recessional hymn, When We All Get to Heaven, can be found on page 17 of the booklet. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go out to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now join in singing the recessional hymn, When We All Get to Heaven, on page 617 of the booklet. When We All Get to Heaven, our recessional hymn.
Walk on the board, please. Walk on the board. Open, open your hand. Open the arm. Open the arm. Hold the board hand. Open the arm. Sit down. Sit down. Come on the board. Right. Walk on the board. Walk on the board. Rest. Rest.
Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our brother Ian has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. We pray and hope in eternal life that has assisted in our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord and also for ourselves. May we go on be united one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. Lord Jesus, by the three days in by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of those who believe in you. And so made a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother Ian may sleep here in peace until you, you awaken him to the glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. And this we ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. certain hope of the resurrection to the life, to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother Ian, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face shine upon him and be gracious to him. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Amen. Amen. Sample. 
7. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my soul. Everything 
Just a closer walk with me, page 19. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, if you please. Daily walking close with thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I am weak. I am weak, but thou art strong. Be not. 
5, Psalm 23, the Lord's my shepherd. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want, he makes me down. Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy. 
Good afternoon, everyone. I guess everyone in here knows me. I'm a former student of two of his daughters. And he has been like a second father to me once since I was in primary school until up to now. But in his passing, I would like to remind everyone of this serious fact. God has put all of us here for a purpose. We have a task to do for him. Mr. Slack is now resting from his labor. And I got a call from God. I didn't answer, but I'm prepared to answer it because I don't want to leave behind an unfinished task. If you know this song, you can help me sing it. If I carry the gospel to the lost near and far I won't stand empty handed at God's judgment bar for I dare not relax until I've done all his acts lest I should leave behind an unfinished act. When I come to this crossing, I'll be leaving behind all my earthly possession, but these I don't mind. It will make my heart glad when I leave all I had if I don't leave behind an unfinished task. You have run, you run the race, you have kept the faith, these words I long. To hear my Savior say, when my life on earth is past, dear, just one thing, dear Lord, I ask, don't let me leave behind an unfinished task. This third book is very hard for a lot of people to say. I'm going to sing it. If I run, my brother, if I run, my sisters, if I wound, dead a friend, give me courage, precious Jesus, to be amen. When you come to change this world, I'll be glory at last, and I won't leave behind an unfinished task. You have run, you've run the race, you have kept the faith, these words I long to hear my Savior say, when my life on earth is past, there's just one thing, dear Lord, I ask, don't let me leave behind an unfinished task. Don't let me leave
afternoon everyone it's a pleasant time for me you know uh, mr slack and miss slack are very good to me you know i do the gardening for them and they like me second mother nobody in the world look for me so like them you know i'm gonna miss mr slack you're gonna do a song shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore sing on that beautiful shore the melodious songs of the blessed spirit shall sorrow no more not a sight for the blessing of rest. Oh, in the sweet by and by, made on that beautiful shore. Oh, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Bountiful Father above. We will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love. Blessing that all our days, oh, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by. We shall meet on that beautiful shore. Yeah, um, oh, I see you in the rapture. Oh, I see you in the rapture. Oh, I see you at that meeting. With my blessed Savior, we live and wait forever. Oh, I see you in the rapture some sweet day. Oh, I see you in the rapture. Oh, I see you in the rapture. Oh, I see you at that meeting in the air. Yeah. The with my blessed Savior, we live and reign forever. Oh, I see you, oh, Ian, some sweet day. Oh, I see you, oh, Ian, some sweet day. May so rest in peace, bro. Amen. We will sing Gather Christians from the booklet on page three. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, be holy comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. To God the Father, let's give Him praise. To God the Father, our voice we raise. To God the Father, who reigns above. Praise the Lord for His mercy and His love. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, be holy comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. As we stand here before our God, with Christ Jesus, our saving Lord, we break His word now and break the bread 
As we proclaim he's risen from the dead. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, be holy comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. Let us all now as one community praise and honor the Trinity. Let us all now with one accord sing out our praise to the living Lord. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians. Be holy comes, rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. Page 11, be not afraid. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do. Real, 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 real
to me. I love him because he gave us the victory. Many people doubt him, but I can't do without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Let us pray. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Ian. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his life he desired to do your will. As in faith, as faith united him to the people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels of heaven. Mercy, Lord, you know the anguish of, your, of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the love of God and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks to everybody for coming and for being so nice and kind and such good things you said about my husband and the children's father. And we thank you sincerely. I think we do appreciate it. Please keep praying for us because it's not an easy time. Amen. We're going to ask the family members if we can, the photographer is going to take some group photos. Yes.